Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 14th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day of the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at our most recent action on our sun. Large outgoing sunspot region that has been producing all of the activity and solar storms this past week has produced yet another strong X-class solar flare. Outgoing posi position also creating a coronal mass ejection. Amazing images here with Solar Dynamics Observatory looking at 304 angstroms. The past 48 hours of activity, some pretty bright fiery regions cresting in on the left-hand side, getting ready for an earth-facing party. Outgoing sunspot region still has lots of life left. Two X-class solar flares in the past 24 hours. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, some pretty complex sunspot regions, multiple sunspots within them, as well plasma filament left-hand side. Looking at outgoing here, this is that active region 3664, AR 3664. Look at those loops. Wow, so much power within. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Very notable and visible here. Bottom left-hand side, plasma filament. As well, we have coronal hole outgoing and as well, peculiar region here. Southern hemisphere, just below the equator of our sun keeping an eye on that region. 193 angstroms here. You can really see the heliosphere in action. All of the umbral fields from the sunspot regions, plasma loops, and as well, 14 sunspot regions on the Earth-facing disk right now. Having a look at those sunspot regions in motion, keeping an eye on those fast-growing Earth-facing sunspots, and as well, as I said, big complex sunspot regions and outgoing there. Current space weather conditions, we are under R3, strong radio blackouts from the X-class solar flare, as well, level 2 solar radiation impacts, infrequent sing single event upsets possible, small effects on high frequency, and as well, a G2, moderate geomagnetic storm expected tonight. Having a look at the solar X-ray flux, as you can see, three X-class solar flares, one of them being extremely minor, one of them being very strong, up into the R3 range. Solar proton flux steadily rising, plateauing out. Geomagnetic activity setting at KP2 for now. Having a look at the highest frequency affected. This is over the last six hours showing big pulses over the Pacific Ocean, or sorry, over the Atlantic Ocean. Long duration, and then watch over North America. Boom! Intense and very high cosmic absorption. Boom! Right over North America today. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center, showing the most recent CME from the X-class solar flare outgoing we still have that incoming CME expected 14th into the 15th, which is tonight and into tomorrow. So watch for geomagnetic activity, meaning auroras, aurora borealis, northern lights. It's been an amazing week. A lot of people experiencing it for the very first time. So grateful to have you along for this journey and as well to be a site of all these amazing events. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing the most recent solar flare, coronal mass ejection. See how it affects the field lines of all the planets. During that event, little yellow circle on the right-hand side is Earth. Now let's have a look at our solar wind right now, sitting at 547 kilometers per second, but at the height of the solar storm that came through a couple days ago, 994 kilometers per second. Just under 1,000 kilometers per second. Amazing stuff. That was quite an event. 
from the 10th into the 12th. Having a look here at our solar winds, depicting our magnetosphere, showing the wind speeds, darker the red, the faster the speeds. And then here with the pressure planes, showing the immense pressure on our planet. And then tonight's aurora view line for, yeah, northern hemisphere tonight and tomorrow. It's going to be the same in the southern hemisphere. Lasco 3 here, broadband view of our sun. Lasco coronagraph here showing those two stars that are incoming. That is Venus and Saturn. And then look at this most recent CME. In the north, boom. And then outgoing. Just some amazing images here with Soho. Mixed in with daily events worldwide. And thank you all for being a part of this channel. Welcome to the cosmic dance party. That is happening to our planet right now. New energies incoming. Look at the most recent CMEs. Boom. Amazing stuff. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. Still up and over 250 earthquakes. Largest being the 5.6 here, Papua New Guinea. Deepest being the 4.7, 623 kilometer depth. And that was reported yesterday. 5.4 and a 5.1 here re reported Pacific Antarctic Ridge. Not much has changed here. South America, except for the 4.3, Calama, Chile. Pretty deep for the region. Caribbean Plate, St. Lucia, seeing a 4.4 today. Minor activity through Puerto Rico. Minor aftershocks and swarm continues. California-Mexico border. Nicole Sky, Alaska, 4.6. Activity into the Volcano Islands region, Marian north of Marianas Trench. And this was a quiet region yesterday. It's not so quiet today. So, heads up, my friends and family. Please share this with your friends and family. 4.1 there. Afghanistan, Iraq with a 4.0 and a 4.1 reported Greece yesterday. But definitely keeping an eye on the Pacific Plate up into the Juan de Fuca. It's been quite some time for a large earthquake through the region. USGS right now reporting 248 earthquakes in 24-hour period. Nothing really notable to report. A couple minor earthquakes up into Washington, and as well across the New Madrid, Ridgely, Tennessee, Oklahoma. Having a look across Hawaii, 17 earthquakes, nothing major to report. 250 earthquakes, 24-hour period. Let's have a quick glance at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. And again, a notable, the largest being the 6.4 Mexico just three days ago much love everybody and thank you for being a part of this channel thank you for pressing play thank you for being a part of this most amazing compassionate and loving community on youtube heads up north american plate west coast now let's have a look at weather here world weather forecast extreme weather moving across the united states this week multiple rounds Big low coming out of the Canadian prairies. Set to bring some moisture. Widespread right across Canada. And then watch here. Long range forecast into the 20th. Pretty strong system. Will bring some extreme weather through northeastern United States and Ontario. And we could still have some snow falling in parts of Quebec and Alberta in the long range. Overlooking Europe. Low pressure center still over Ireland right now, slowly creeping southward towards France, bringing multiple bands of rain towards the Mediterranean, parts of Italy. Watch for pop-up thunderstorms. Pretty big system moving into Iceland as well. Could see some winter storm conditions. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Australia, New Zealand. 
New Zealand has a low pressure system affecting you for the next couple days. And as well, possible cyclone development north of Madagascar seems to be just lingering around just north of Madagascar. Forecast here doesn't show it moving for at least three or four days. Got some very intense weather moving into Thailand and Myanmar. Monsoon rain season is there here overlooking North Pacific. Big high pressure ridge across the East Pacific and a strong low pressure system north of Hawaii set to bring in multiple bands of rain. And that's a pretty strong system squeezed in between those two highs. Eventually it will make it to the North Atlantic or sorry, North Pacific heading into the Cascades. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains in the north, dry in the south. Look at the size of this low pressure system in the region of the South Atlantic anomaly. This is where we've been seeing those massive wave forecasts. That is a very huge low pressure system in the southern hemisphere right now. Long-range forecast showing a low developing for Buenos Aires, Argentina. Then we're going to leave you here looking at our upper-level winds. This is 30,000 feet and higher. Depicting the southern polar vortex right now. As you can see, it's oblonged, stretched out towards South America, around the region of the South Atlantic Anomaly. Some very turbulent waters in the Southern Hemisphere right now. Have a quick look here around the world for upper level winds. See what they're up to. But I'm also going to go back one year to the day and see what kind of difference there is. And right away, you go back to May 14th, 2023. There's a big difference. Look at the equatorial winds, the direction and the width of the equatorial band. Something has dramatically changed on our planet, folks, and I've been talking about it for a long time. It is now becoming evident, and they're going to blame climate change. They're going to blame us, but it's not our fault. Tax the volcanoes. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Much love and good night. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.